All right, and then the final thing that you have to accept is that sometimes you will look at a torque equilibrium problem and you will guess wrong. And in fact, I won't even tell you which way an unknown force is. Okay, that's how mean I am. I will draw them like this, right? So this means it could be up, it could be down, okay? Now in this example, I'm gonna guess that that force is up because it's drawn on the left side there. And, and, uh, and besides, you know, we've got a bigger force acting upward and, you know, never mind the basic physics of this whole thing that is so far away that it could be stronger. You know, let, let's just, let's just uh, go with it. <clears throat> okay, so let's, Let's guess that this force is up, which makes this an anti-clockwise, right? This guy is also anti-clockwise. We're not guessing there. It definitely is anti-clockwise, right? It's going to tend to lift that beam up, which would make it go anti-clockwise. And then this guy, this is clockwise, right? Now, there's nothing going on. The, the R's, the radiuses are, are drawn the way that they should be, right? Um, they are in centimeters, which we could leave, or I'll turn them into meters, but I wouldn't have to. Um, and then let's just set up our torque expression. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to say minus 0.35 times F minus uh, 1.02. And this, this would, by the way, I can just put centimeters in and it'll still work. Because they're all centimeters. They'll divide out 27.5. And then I'll say plus 1.86 times 12.2. <clears throat> All right, now let's do the math. Okay, so now in the next step, I'm gonna say 0.35 times F equals 1.86 times 12.2 minus 1.02 times 27.5. All right, here we are. Are we ready for this? So I'm going to do this number here. I'm going to go 1.86 times 12.2. You got to do careful math. All right, minus 1.02 times 27.5, and I get 0.35f equals negative 5.358. So therefore, f equals. So I'm going to divide by 0.35. F equals negative 15.3 newtons. Now, let's be very, very careful about what we say, okay? We guessed that the force was up. Notice that we said it was anti-clockwise, right? Which means that it's lifting the beam up. We guessed up, okay? We guessed up, but we got a negative sign. So therefore, it's down, okay? So that means that it's the force is... 15.3 newtons down. Now, it's not down because it's negative necessarily. It's down because we guessed up and got a negative number when we did careful math. So therefore, it's opposite the direction we guessed. This is a common, a recurring theme in physics, right? We have to guess something, right? And if we guess wrong, we get a negative number, okay? Um, had we, let's suppose we guessed down, right, we would have gotten a positive number and would have therefore been correct, okay, it would have been down. Uh, you will need to say up or down, okay. In another example, I may perhaps guess down. If I get a negative answer when I guess down, it's actually up, okay. So basically the minus sign means opposite the direction we guessed. opposite the direction we guessed. Okay, that's what that means. So you gotta be careful.